What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Erica, from the Classy Climb blog. What do we do here? We just show you ways to make more money, invest the difference, and live well. So listen, I'm getting ready to be on my way to a movie theater with friends. So I just want you guys to understand a quick economic run-through, okay? What is the quick economic run-through? You see the title? It is Home Equity Loans are 9.5%. Um Economy downturn and investing in oil. Why am I talking about this? So many people are going to miss this, and that's okay. I'm okay with you missing this one. Um, look at how many people are getting home equity loans for 9.5%. Now, first thing you're going to hear is, oh, I would never do that. I would I would never take a loan from my house for that much. There are people in our economy right now with mortgages from the 2000s that are 7%, 10%, 11%, and more, and worse. So let's say you bought a home in 2019. 2018, 2017, and it's worth 300,000, 400,000, 500,000 more now, right? And you're like, how can I get the equity out of my house? But I don't want to sell my house. Girl, these people already are taking home equity loans for 9.5%. And I'm okay with it. Why? Because they need money. One, they need money. And two, if you have no other opportunity to grab 100,000 or 200,000 out of your house without selling it now, of course, and take that money and invest it somewhere else, I'm okay with it. They invested in a startup, a franchise. Many of these service businesses I tell y'all about, you got a truck, some equipment, you're rolling. Your business is rolling and or you're running Facebook ads or YouTube ads, Facebook, Instagram ads, you're good. And I want y'all to really understand that. So again, the special, uh, you got till midnight, I think. It should automatically change our system back to the normal price. If it don't, it'll be back to normal price by 8 a.m. in the morning or something to that effect. But you have the $150 special on the bundle, funding bundle, and $150 special on the digital real estate. That's what you guys voted for. It is what it is. So you can grab a hold of those two. Enjoy your night. Its Links are in the chat. Let me see if I can start. Start the comment. There we go. You can see it. It's at the top. But... Part of what I want you to understand, there's a guy, I'm going to be posting his books in the community walls and all the Facebook groups. I'm going to get on your name. His name is Ted Oakley. He is like old school. I mean, I watch this stuff and I'm like, this is what I'm talking about. If Thomas Sowell talked more like that, it would be a, bit, a different, a whole different light. But um, before I get into this, I don't want to get too stock heavy in the conversation. I want you guys to understand Diamond Dave is doing a uh, in-live person training in Atlanta, uh, October 21st, if I'm not mistaken. I'll probably have some more information and make sure I have his link so you guys can go get that actual active live training. Someone walking you through options. You need to be able to know how to get money out of these markets. Because a lot of what I tell you, I'm just telling you to make more money so you can put money and you're watching it, but not losing money per se, right? A lot of what I've seen and what have I read and educated myself on, the average investor is getting like 3% returns, like over years, right? So there were Jones advisors, their 401k accounts, they're not getting real returns. And so when I sit here and tell you, most people are putting all their money into seven to 10 different stocks that everybody talks about, Tesla, Apple, uh, the Fang gang, right? Facebook, Meta. Um, and those people, when the economy turns or the stock market turns, they're going to be hit the hardest because they're going to go off the big ones, you know, they're going to go off the big ones. And so uh, something I want you to look at when you have time and pick, write notes on this, because I know it's football season and most folks are checked out, but this is when all the real big money gets made. I, and, and if I could explain it to y'all, I would better, but Russell 2000s, in my opinion, and again, that's Russell, R-U-S-S-E-L-L 2000. You can go look it up. Price index right now, I think it's uh, $1,800. That's more true and indicative of the market and, and our economy, right? Because the stock market is just jumping. You're like, yes, I mean, getting money, get money, right? That's how people are acting right now. Um, but I think the Russell 2000 is more indicative of it. Another thing is something to put, make note. Please make note of this. In 2007, oil was up. And it was up in 2008. What was going on in the economy? The economy was crashing. Housing was crashing. Again, another year to look back, and this is everybody's not going to do all this math, but in uh, data research, but I do. 1977, the market went down all year long to 1978, right? The, the outer economy was tripping. So oil went up all 1977, right? So, so again, a lot of people are going to be like, um, you know, everything, oh, the market's going down, this is happening. Last year, we had less people drilling. This year and next year, I'm going to be doubling down investing in oil rigs here in Texas because our strategic reserve is low. 
and we're going to keep making money. We're going to keep, depending on how all these bricks folks is acting, we're going to have to keep making money, keep getting this oil pumped up out of this ground. <laughs> and I want to be right there, not just for the who I own an oil rig or oil royalties. It's also going to be for you get deductions. You get 70% off tax deductions when you invest in oil. And then when you, let's say the oil rig hit and it's making big money, you'll get another 15% deduction from that depletion tax right off. Man, I just set through a bunch of training. I'm going to put a lot of this stuff into the uh, Wealth Wednesdays. Uh, we have a Wealth Wednesday coming up. I'm going to have a, a financial advisor, another one come in on next week, I think. Uh, I think it's next week. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be it's going to be lit. So, again, another thing I was learning from the training is like floating 90 day treasury notes, floating 90 days. So every 90 days, whatever the, the, the market's doing, whatever the, the the interest rate is, that's what you'll have. It's lit. A lot of stuff is going on behind the scenes. You don't understand. So, again, what happened um, to the stock market and to businesses, right? In 1999 and 2000s, if you just said, hey, I'm a dot-com, whatever, I'm a dot-com company, right? People were making money, you were running it up, right? But at the end of the day, all those folks were crashing, right? Well, the same thing happened, what, in the 2000s? Everybody's like, oh, I'm in tech, I'm in tech, I'm in tech, right? And so our company is in tech. And so it had money running up, right? Well, then you had AI, right? Now we're hitting that, oh, it's AI, so companies are acting like they're going to be rejuvenated through AI. And so you're going to have these big swift, these changes. You're going to have these changes coming up because you're not paying attention to what's happening in the trends. Now, Microsoft, say what you will about Microsoft and Bill Gates, so crazy self. You know, they changed after the 2000s, like a dot com, dot com drop, right? They changed, right? And they adjusted with the marketing. Now they have cloud. Same thing with IBM. Dell and IBM, when people say, why, why is Dell even significant? Why is IBM significant? Because they have all this infrastructure. When you provide thousands and thousands of computers to, uh, to these companies, to these companies all over the United States, and you put your software on them, you know, all of a sudden, now you have this moment where all these folks, uh, when they need software changes, they need updates, they have to still work with Dell and IBM for years to come. Because of contracts and, and negotiations and et cetera, et cetera, right? Uh, and so I want you to understand you got to have some peace of mind and some balance to investing in these different markets, right? And how do you have peace of mind when investing in these different markets? How do you have peace of mind? How, how do you, because you need to be able to say, I'm not just going to go double down everything into real estate, or I'm not just going to double down everything into stock market. It's the same way people are acting with these tech companies. Everybody's like, oh, I don't want to leave my job because I saw tech layoffs. And I'm like, I'd rather be able to move around in that space at $100,000 to $150,000 pay ranges than me be trying to go back and forth with 30K jobs, period, right? Or if you're in a small town, you need to figure out either you're working with Diamond Dave, you're learning some options training, you're learning some way that you can get competitive. You, you need to get competitive in what's coming up in this current market. You need to get competitive. Thank you, Other Z. <laughs> I dig the FC. I mean, again, it's a really nice, it's a really nice uh, opportunity um, right now. Uh, Esther said, yeah, IBM is all all in other company software, been there forever. Yeah, IBM. I mean, again, late night. I mean, yeah, we're just we're just going through this real quick. We're running this like in less than twenty minutes because I've got to go catch the Denzel Denzel Washington movie with folks. I had to make sure I grab my sweatshirt because I wasn't gonna be in there freezing, but. Why am I telling you this about oil? Why am I telling you this about housing? Why am I telling you this about the Russell 2000s? I'm constantly educating myself because here's what happened. Here in Austin, the boom hit so hard. A lot of these people have all these houses that have 200,000, 300,000, $400,000 in appreciation. They can't sell it for what it, they can. The market isn't selling like that. Austin is one of the only markets to come down. But what they can do is get what? A HELOC, a home equity loan. And people think, oh, nobody's doing that. That's not true. These people who have jobs or tech jobs or wife is working, they will be able to access that money. Now they're going to have to put it somewhere. So that's why you have all these conferences coming here to Austin. Coming here to Austin every freaking weekend, every couple of days, because they know, man, if I can just get them, if I can just get them uh, to invest their money, right? Invest their money with our company. It'll be great. If I can just get them to invest their money with us, we can buy more apartment buildings. If I can get their money to invest with us, we can do more stock stuff. That's what's happening. That's literally what's happening right now. 
thank you. I moisturize my face. I wash it. Someone said, whatever I'm doing, I'm aging backwards. I moisturize my face. I wash it. I'm in love, you know, different things like that. Yeah, there was someone, there's a car beside me. These people are trying to uh, literally change their baby outside. Hey, they got to do what they got to do. Whatever they got to do. You know what I'm saying? Whatever they got to do, they got to do. They got to change that baby over there. Let them do it, right? That's not my business. There's a baby booty in the air on this table over here. I'm just like, what's going on? Um, <laughs> but part of why I'm bringing this to you is there's, you're going to see me posting a bunch of books coming up. You're going to see me doing a bunch of affiliate marketing training. Uh, uh, literally, I'm, I'm telling y'all, people are into zoned out mode. They're getting, they're already in mode for Halloween. They're getting Halloween decorations. They're already budgeting themselves for Christmas. Again, people will go back to work. Um, I personally got 47 different phone calls the last week of companies who are like, hey, I saw your Indeed resume. And I'm like, man, I ain't, I ain't fixed that thing in, in months, right? I fixed my LinkedIn, but I didn't fix my Indeed. And so these companies know September through October, November, December, y'all need some money. So y'all going to come back to these offices and you're going to work. And I've just seen a couple of states where they finished some new offices. Y'all, they, they're not going to let them offices sit empty. You're going to be back in them offices. Uh, you know what I mean? You just are. And it's funny to me, but I, I, I look at people saying, oh, I'm, I'll be remote. No, you're not. Y'all going to go at least two, three times a week. They're going to make sure of it. But you want to be balanced in this coming economy, how it's, how it's, how it's shaking and moving. You don't want to be 100% 10 toes down into just one thing, right? You know, a lot of people seem like they're just not paying attention. They're really zoned out in their own thing. And when you have like a mass disruption, they go follow a strong man. That's why Trump is so big and continues to be big. Because when people are like, hey, I'm in a rural town, shit's going wrong. Meth is out here, opioids, the, the, the law and order is out of control. What's going on? They People like Trump come up and rise up, right? It's the same thing that happened in a lot of South American countries. A lot of people are not paying attention. And it, it, I would say as an American, why are people running across this border? Why is that dude that I posted in the comedy community wall, why is he just attacking random people in New York? He know they have some type of money on them. Like it doesn't matter what South American country come from. If he was over in the Hispanic Harlem or he was over there where the Hispanic people are, they're not gonna let him rob them like that. They gonna beat, beat him with a pipe, okay? But he's going in different parts of New York because what? He just got here. He is clearly either hungry or stupid, one of the two, and it's just robbing people because he knows they will have money. They will have cash money. He just knows it. And so America is this big lick. And every time someone tries to convince me, oh, no, I'm going over to overseas other countries to live cheaper and the women are going to love me for me. Boy, bye. Miss me with that. There's nothing wrong with it, but miss me with that. Like, miss me with all that silly stuff. You know, don't leave, chicks, though, like. But there's every day you can be posting things without your face. They can get posted on Instagram. We're retooling our staff to, um, for some of our affiliate marketing contracts we got. We're posting a lot of stuff coming up uh, across very across our five YouTube pages, our three different LinkedIn, not our LinkedIn's, our three different Pinterest. And we're just literally just getting ourselves, we're getting the cash flow up so we can be more invested into oil, more invested into land, more invested into real estate. Because when you're across the board, uh, let's say stocks are up 30%, right? They're up 30%. You're like, yeah, but real estate's down and this is down and your company's kind of going slow. You're still up, right? And this is why people need to be more invested along multiple ways. That's why I talk about the table, investing across the table. Um, that's why my next Wolf Wednesday uh, kind of training video will be like, you need to balance this stuff out so that when people are like, oh, it's the bubble of everything. No, it's not. You need to be able to actively have enough income generating so you can live the way you want. I just watched a video and I'm going to do a review on it. I really am. Um, congratulations, man. Congratulations. Man, get, be safe out there in New York. Be safe. Like, like New York, the Upper East Coast, Boston. Like that, you see, they ain't put them in Boston because Boston will beat the hell out of these people. Um, you see, they're not putting them in certain places because <laughs> the Italians and the Jewish and the Irish people will take care of them. Um, but they're flooding these areas, and these places aren't like Texas, they're not like Arizona, they're not like New Mexico. They aren't prepared to be like, oh, no, no, all y'all gonna go over here, you're gonna fill this paperwork out, or you're gonna keep it moving, right? 
You know what I mean? It's just one of those things. Like, they're not going to let you play that. Um, and so part of what I want you guys to understand is getting balance, getting balance, and getting balance means increasing the income, but also being able to invest it across multiple platforms. Now, prime, prime example, uh, what happened the other day, I watched the video, and I'm going to do, I have a reaction video to it, but literally, it's a military family, and I already know what's going on. I already know they were hoarders. They got a two-bedroom, two-bath condo. They got two dogs, three kids. The mom and dad, well, the, the man's mom was dying of cancer. So he goes for five months taking care of her till she passed away, right? The, the, the wife and the kids were at her parents' house in another state. So their condo stays empty for five whole months. They're hoarders. They, talk, they call a girl. She comes and she comes and packs their stuff out. Because they're hoarders. Cleans the place out. Gets rid of a bunch of stuff. Well, instead of her cleaning their house out because she's an organizer, she basically moves the people in. They start squatting on her house on this two-door, two-bedroom, two-bath condo. Well, the military guy comes back to town. And he's like, oh, my God, I had to rely on military services for the past additional months. Five more months. And so it's been 10 months they've been out of their property. Five more months where they're paying for people to be in hotels and the the <laughs> the news reporter goes, you're, you're a military veteran. Now, he didn't retire. He just got out after a few years after I war. You're a military veteran. You and your wife are working at a pizza place. You got some disability and y'all sleep in hotels. Yeah, the veteran services here are paying for us to stay in these places. I already knew what's up with this white dude. He don't do a lot of work. Even the look of his wife's face, all of them. He don't do a lot of work. He, he don't have much. He's been relying a little bit on the, the 15, 20% disability, been getting by because they own this condo. This condo, they done had it for so many years. They probably have like a $300 mortgage. And he's like, I just thought about letting the condo go because I've been paying for it for 10 months and not been able to live there. Man, your mortgage is $300. You paid 3000 so you, you're going to let it go? This guy's not all that bright, right? Common sense would say, well, I'm going to put the house for sale and then let the police, you know, let it be for sale and let them deal with it. Right, because then I at least got my money out the condo. He not saying that, because they ain't got nowhere to go. They ain't got no skills. If you tell me, if you say, "Hey, you know, I, I go take care of my mother for five months. She passed away of cancer. When I come back to town, if I've got skills, I'm regardless if I'm back and forth between hotels, I'm gonna get a what? A real job. I'm not gonna be doing pizza delivery or working inside of a pizza place twenty hours a week. And I, I didn't spend any time educating myself or. Because there's squatter laws in Colorado. If you have squatters in your house, you can get court the next day. So you've been spending five months in hotels and you never stop to Google, research, look up how to get the squatters at your house. This is shows you how slow some folks are. And they're really willing to live on bare minimum, you know, a little thousand, two thousand dollars a month that he gets in his in his little bit of little bit of disability, a little bit of pension. They're really willing to live really low. People will not work unless you make them. So they've got multiple kids and two dogs, and they got them in a two-bedroom, two-bath condo in Colorado Springs. The math already ain't math, right? Same thing when you see these videos with all these people cutting their grass, and the grass has been out of control for months. Oh, I've been out of town a week. Man, you've been your, you are a healthy man. The grass is overgrown all over the place. There's no reason for that. These guys are making a million dollars. A million dollars on YouTube channels for cutting grass. Like, hey, I'm cutting your grass for free. My old nephew asked me, can I start one of those channels? I heard they're making all this money. And I really want to tell him, I said, baby, you got to wait till you 18. Because we don't want nobody trying to grab you out here, okay? Some crazies out here. But that shows you how bad people are. They're literally just sitting in the house, watching TV and internet all day in zombie mode. The grass is growing up everywhere. It's looking crazy, right? And they don't have any kind of incentive or need to go cut their own grass or go work somewhere. Okay, so I'm telling you, there's a lot of people who are pushed to the edge where they're going to have to, as this, uh, as the inflation, really we're going into stagflation, gets worse. They're going to really start trying to go to work. And these companies, because everybody's like, oh, I want to be remote. They want to live this lifestyle where their wife doesn't have to work and they're remote and they're all working from home. They're all chilling. That The math is not there for them to chill. This is how you'll meet so many, you know, guys who were in National Guard, because the guy in the in the video that they're our new reaction to, he was army for four years. 
uh, Navy for four years, then he did National Guard the rest of the time. So I know guys who do National Guard. National Guard only give you like a thousand for a month. You only get like a thousand. So he's doing National Guard, getting a little thousand here and there. He's not working. Her husband's not working and she's not working and their kids are barely making it. But because they own that property, they can get by like that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, unless you actually retire, retire, put your 20 plus years in an old system. People like my mom are one of the golden parachute people making like literally six figures from retirement because they stayed in so long. Military did not plan for these people to stay that long. And they really didn't plan for these people to get out of the military, even the National Guard, and do nothing. And do nothing. But these guys have gotten to their mind like, well, I own my house. Again, people will only do a bare minimum. So this is why when I talk like this in these videos and I'm trying to educate you guys, and I'm like, hey, here's affiliate marketing. Here's opportunities. There's a segment of our population doing bare minimum, but there's a segment of our population who are going, ripping and running, buying stuff, going on vacations, right? Because people keep trying to understand why are all these properties vacant out here? There are people who own properties in multiple states, right? To be 1% in America, you just got to own three properties. A lot of people have second homes or uh, what we call, what is those, um, share, share, what do you call them, uh, time shares? A lot of people got those, right? A lot of people got those. And so it's when you own that third house, right? That's when you're in the 1% because it's so rare. Uh, yep, that's how they do it. Because then you can go ahead and get a second career. You dig what I'm saying, Tam? Listen, y'all, I need y'all to pressure Tam. I need you to go to Women in Linux. I need you to tell her we need two tickets to Colorado Buffalo. <laughs> y'all need y'all to go on Women in Linux and get Tam to get me and her some tickets to the Colorado Buffalo game. <laughs> tell her find a way to get us some Colorado Buffalo tickets. <laughs> Because I've been watching to y'all, and I got my gear, and I got my hat, and I'm ready, okay? Y'all give Tam that pressure. Y'all go pressure Tam on all her platforms. Um, but yeah, this is the, I'm telling you, this is what's happening, Tam. Like, I literally, even as I have the Breaking in Tech Facebook group, there's 5,500 people in there today, or six grand, 6,000 people today, right? They literally, people are in there like, hey, I want to... I need to be connected to an a recruiter right now. I need a job right now. I need to do something like, have you, have you updated your resume? Is your LinkedIn updated? Is your Indeed updated? None of it. What do you want to do? I don't know. I just want something in tech. So you have this moment where the crowd starts to get ready for a change. They don't know where they want to go in the change, but they know there's a change coming. And so a lot of times you got to educate people in that change. So the same way I'm telling y'all about stagflation, oil, and new construction, you got to be, we got to ride the way because you guys are still going to be building new construction homes or they'll switch to build, uh, build to rent or they'll switch and build more duplexes and multifamily because they know there's people like the guys that said that veteran who will be there for the next 10, 12 years paying little rent, not really working, just kind of waiting for the kids to get grown. I've seen it happen. This is why when I go visit my mom in the military town, I know why those guys move from military town to military town because they can go and tell that same story to another vet. Yeah, man. Yeah, I understand. And nobody's going to question it. Nobody's going to question it. Y'all, they got me. Pumpkin spice, they got me. That's just delicious and dangerous. But I really want y'all to understand, like, be very smart about what's coming up. I have six properties. I still work. Again, it, what, what happens is if you start having four, five, six, seven kids, you know what I'm saying? You start having four, five, six, seven kids, you're going to still, you're going to want like 20, 30 K a month income to be comfortable. Right now, people are saying, well, I don't need all that. I got kids there. I don't need all that. And I'm just going to put it to you like this. I'm going to put it to you like this. Comfortable. I mean, can y'all book flights together? Can you go see your parents if you need to? A lot of people do not plan in advance. They do last minute planning, last minute booking, last minute airport. That's how the airport gets up, takes advantage of you. People like me who are planning out for the next three years, right? Um, it's different, right? I'm buying tickets for $97 three months from now, right? Uh, because I'm, I'm just going to plan in advance. But you talk to most people, they're like, 
I don't know if I can get off work. I don't know if I, what's going on. I don't know. The stars must align if I can leave. And so they'll continue to struggle. They'll continue not to fly. They'll continue not to go anywhere because they won't plan. All right. Let's see. I get VA myself, but myself still working. There you go. Congratulations. I bet it was jumping. Boy, I tell you, I uh, listen, when they came to Fort Worth, I knew what time it was. I said, y'all not ready. They said they was coming. <laughs> what about solar and electric won't crew become thinking of? This is a false doctrine. This is a false promoted doctrine. Let me tell you, if you actually study oil, especially Africa, Africa, we have not developed them. We have not. Parts of Africa are super developed. There's parts that are not. They are. There's a book called One Billion. I'm going to find it and post it on the community wall. But there's something that it's called like One Billion, where it basically Coca-Cola and gas stations has have already mapped like, OK, we're going to go over here, over here, over here, over here. Like they're already mapping it. Those countries are 30 years behind in where we're at. India, China, like. In real world perspective, we can only afford one or two Americas, right? Like, and I mean America, I mean like United States style living where everybody's driving cars, everybody's balling out. So oil will continue to go up. The Middle East still going to ball out. Um, I'm going to get heavy invested in oil because I've seen the tracks. And again, I'll repeat it again. But again, in 2007, oil went up. What was going on in 2007? Housing was, was crashing. Stuff was going down. Uh, stocks was tripping. All that. 2008. Then you had 1977 where um, the market was down all year long. All the way into 1978. Oil was still up. Then you had the oil energy crisis, right? In the 80s. So again, people aren't paying attention to um, oil as in everything. I mean, in the plastics and the plastic bags, the plastic cups, uh, how we make clothes, how we run engines. I mean, even the solar power... <laughs> The solar power we talk about literally is run off gas and oil. Like these smart cities, they're trying to convince you that they're going to move Americans into, which is going to be very dangerous. Uh, these 15 minute prisons, basically. Oh, you don't have to worry about a car. You walk everywhere. You bike everywhere. Please go over to Europe right now. Like I'm going to uh, Edinburgh and I'm going to a couple other places and I'm going to Japan uh, coming up here for the fall. But I'm telling you, they're going to freeze this fall. They already have tickets for people trying to come to America, Florida and Texas, and Arizona for the winter out of Europe. Why? Heating and gas. They blew up the pipeline that goes from Russia to Europe. And they already told Germans. They, they've already told Germans and military people on military bases in Germany. I know because I have friends on military bases in Germany. They got moved to Japan. Uh, they were like, y'all, it's going to be cold. It's going to be cold in your house. You can might as well wear sweaters, wear long sleeves because... This this natural gas this pipeline is cut. And until Africa resolves this thing where they're going through Niger, Nigeria, Niger, and then another country to take it all to Europe, literally to take that gas to Europe, y'all gonna be cold. You're gonna be rationed. Like like the wood stoves of the past is gonna be a hot market in uh Africa and Europe. That's why in America, when they try to tell you get rid of these wood stoves, they want everybody to go to electric. Don't do it. Go and the average American doesn't travel to Europe to see it. But there is a upsell right now in wood stoves at these companies because it's like uh, several companies in Pennsylvania and Connecticut. They kept making these stoves like, you know, just as a retro vintage thing. But they're selling out because I'm telling you, if you're not paying attention, electric and, and solar can't do it all. Texas has the number one solar and electric and we went down during the cold. See, nobody talks about that part. Everybody's like, oh, it's because Texas didn't do it right. No, we have the highest number in the whole United States of solar power and electric. And it went down. It didn't work. The conversion, it didn't work. Oh, that's because you're not on the national grid. Listen to me. Texas is number one in alternative energy. And it didn't work. It's, it's almost on the fritz now because of the heat, the 45-day heat we do every summer, 45 days, where it's over 90 degrees. So this thing of will oil be of the past is incorrect. They're selling you snake oil. <laughs> Got out your first contract. Congrats. My mortgage interest rate is 3.4%. I don't want to take out a home equity loan for 9.5%. What else can I and others do to avoid that? I mean, it depends. I, I would say shop around, uh, see what different banks are offering. Some people are doing less. Some people are doing 6%, 7%, 8%. But I just know there's been a rise of people taking the 9.5%. And I just know they need the money. 
I would not take it unless I, if it's a hundred thousand to 200,000, if I can put it in another rental property, right. Or a, a fire, if I could buy land and put some trailers on it, if I can buy a couple RVs and rent them out, or if I could put it into a business, like if I wanted to start a service business and I can do the training by the van, wrap it, get the guys working, pay, pay, pay payroll, I would do that. If I mean, it just depends on your situation. Don't take it unless you have an absolute plan for it. Because just because something's 9%, 9% ain't shit, to be honest. I'm not going to be funny with you, but there are people in the real estate deals I'm in now, they're getting 25% returns, right? Lang Kawashi, Simple Passive cash flow, Brandon Turner, all these people are giving 20, 25% returns. Greg Cardone is even giving like, at one point he was giving 20%. It's less now, but there's several other smaller hard money companies out there. You're going to get 20, 25% returns. That's why these people are taking these HELOC loans. They're taking 150, 200 putting it with some, a hundred of it with some of these hard money people, six to eight months later, they're getting their money back out because the property's either selling or they refinance with a different loan. So there's ways to get 20, 30% returns. It just depends on, are you in that position? I ain't got no kids and I need 20K. <laughs> I'm telling you, listen, to fly whenever you want, travel whenever you want, go to doctor visits, do whatever. I mean, can I just hop on a plane and go overseas and just chill for a month? Right. And so when people say, oh, I only need like three, four grand a month to live. I'll be like, OK. Get in with contracts, updating data centers and building them for sure. That's a good information, Tim. Um, let me see. Adria, I talked a lot about it the past couple of videos about Section 8 investing. The government will pay. Um, you'll always have a market if you can get 50K to 70K houses that are nice, clean, ready to go. And get a thousand six thousand two hundred to a thousand six hundred out the property. If you can do that, man, thousand six hundred. Okay, times ten months is sixteen grand. Right, you're already you know you're doing pretty good. I mean, I just again, you can build up a really huge portfolio. But even if I build up, let's say I'm building up thirty homes of Section Eight properties, I'm getting them for cheap. I'm getting fifty to seventy k homes. I get in there, boom. And I'm getting a thousand five hundred a month. Great, government's paying on time every month. I still would want to move that money to something else: oil, oil rig investing, <laughs> stocks, a, a couple of dividends, not too many, but uh, some dividend stocks, high yield, ten to twelve percent. Then I'm going to move some of our money. I'm going to move them to some other projects. I'm going to have that money moved out for some balance because if I just have everything into one, just because the government guarantees it, I, I still wouldn't feel comfortable with that. Trillion Energy International, okay. Lots of untapped potential. My first home purchase was 7.5%. Everybody told me how lucky I was. <laughs> I'm telling you, I know people right now with that. You, U.S. might be pushing for electrification, but most of the world still needs a lot of oil. Every single bit of that is true. Oil is here to stay. It really is. I'm dipping in my 401k to keep up with inflation. After that, that's gone. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Nay, nay, Bernier, I would not dip into my 401k at all. I would not do that if I were you. And this is not financial advice. Um, if I were you, I would learn how to do more affiliate marketing. There are 86% of brands out there uh, have affiliate marketing programs because they are 40% uh, of their revenue comes from it. There are things that you know that people want to like buy. Uh, there's a whole system I could teach you for free. Basically, make sure you get on the Indel list for that. We talk about a lot of affiliate marketing. Um, also, check out the special we're doing right now. Uh, it's the digital real estate special for 150 and it's the digital real estate. 150 special for the funding bundle. Uh, I'm, I got some affiliate marketing inside the digital real estate. I'm going to put a little bit more, but literally I'm teaching affiliate marketing free for the rest of the year off of my uh, email list because I just know I'm going to show you. And if you're in the paid wall, you see where I told you we're going to do 1.5 mil. That's what we're going to do with affiliate marketing because I know the, the way to do it. I know the Pinterest. I know the uploading things. People literally click and buy all day. There are parts of our society that are just doing just fine. The whole old money aesthetic is a lot of younger kids who are like, I only got a little bit of money. Let me get a few shirts, a few pair of pants and live well. But their parents and moms at home are like, I'm going to buy grills. There are men that are going to buy grills, grilling materials, uh, college sports materials, all this stuff, all fall. Most consumers are running thin on money, but not everybody. Okay. Pharmaceuticals. That's right. My cousin did petroleum engineering. and She doesn't find it lucrative anymore. Because of the shift that's happening in the first world, Esther, she could go overseas right now and make 
huge, crazy money. Uh, we have two people who left Houston to go over to uh, Middle East, and they're getting 350000 a year. So it depends on what, what she's going through. I get it. <coughs> but when someone says lucrative, lucrative how? Have they asked for raises? Have they switched to other jobs? I don't think so. I'm just going to be honest. I just know two guys who just went to Middle East, really one with the Doha, one with the Dubai, and they're making like 350000 a little bit more plus with their moving incentive. Um, yeah, it's it, it, oil, diamonds, minerals, all of it, Quentin. Uh, if you, Adrian, if you actually go check out my uh, Wealth Wednesday class, I do a whole training in there. You can go in and there. You can go in there and grab it. I'm not, I'm not going to, like, everybody wants everything for free. They never want any skin in the game. I'm sorry. Everybody's got to put skin in the game. Elon was trying to get $100 million from the government just for a nitro. Yeah, it's ridiculous. The stove in my house is electric. Good luck. Power go out. That's why people talk crap about gas stoves. They still powers out. You still cooking. You having a great day. Um, I don't understand anybody in America right now, to be really honest, who doesn't have some of those generators I've been showing. I'm going to put them on the community wall this next couple weeks. They're $150 to $300. Some of them are solar. You know, if the power goes out, it's cool with me because I'm going to be able to plug my phone into it. I'm gonna be able to plug my crock pot into it. I'm gonna be able to plug uh, my cook, uh, my coffee pot into it. I'm gonna be good. I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna be good. And you're gonna start seeing me push more of those generators. Also on the tactical YouTube channel, we have to go film some content this week. It'll be over there because uh, I'm telling y'all, it's it's too easy to pay 150 right now. Have it just be charging in the garage. You know, just periodically make sure it's charged up. Up, oh, a storm comes. You know, a storm getting ready to come in the next. Next uh, week or so, oh, let's make sure we charge that box. And now you got that going. I mean, it's just too easy. I'm telling you, listen, people are, oh, people literally, I mean, they dream. They, their mouth drools that I can live in Europe. I can live in uh, Italy. I can live over in Euro Germany and, and it'd be so cheap and fancy. Man, Sweden is the number one country for rates right now. They're out of control. Like their migrant problem is awful. And so Sweden's terrible. It's, it's, it's some bad stuff going on in Europe right now. And so people try to play like, oh, it's all great. I'm like, no, it's their cold. They already told them brace for the cold. They already telling them people, make sure you got the wood stoves ready. They got the fire departments in Europe getting ready for the people with the wood stoves. It's crazy. It does have its own power grid. Yes. <laughs> That's no picture. <laughs> as long as there are Rockefellers, I will believe in what baby. Oil ain't going nowhere, man. I, I'm about to. I'm about to have a wood stove affiliate marketing. Get them likes up. There's 267 people here. I got to go because I got to go to my uh, Denzel Washington movie. But I'm going to read through your comments real quick and wrap it up. Yeah, it's crazy. Congratulations. I'm glad. Enjoy it. My life, my money media. Enjoy it. I mean, I, I'll have some free training in there maybe in two weeks where I'm just going to come in there and talk to everybody who's in the class because I know what's coming. I got something I'm going to put in the uh, middleman to millions later in the fall, too. But after I do these trainings, but I'm just telling y'all, like, I'm bracing myself because I know there's so many young men who will need work, who will be going into the trades. And if you're a company, say, hey, I can train you. Come over here. I'll train you. I can get trained. Yeah. And I'll pay you 25 to 30 dollars. an hour. Oh, my God. Thank you, ma'am. Now, if he only worked with me for two years and then he want to go to college or go do something else. Cool. But I'm going to get my money out of him. I'm just telling y'all, there is there is setting up right now. And the whole affiliate marketing thing, if you took everything from me right now, now to start a brand new YouTube channel, brand new phone, brand new everything, right? And all this shit I know, I would go hard. I would go on Facebook and Facebook ads and Instagram hard because I know the, the traction is already there. And then holistic all fall because of the, listen, I, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Buy the cars at the auction for sure. Yeah, all that. Got my digital real estate. Congratulations. I would get a second and third job before I touch my 401k. Yeah, I wouldn't touch it. For what? That don't make sense. Uh, we'll have the link in the bio. We'll have the link somewhere in here. We'll have the link after this video renders. I, I wouldn't ease my contributes, contributions. I would max them out for tax deduction purposes. But that's me. I'm not giving you financial advice. That's me. Um, but again, it depends on if your company's matching or not. Uh, 
Um, not really. I mean, if you're a traditional artist, you still need to figure out how to market yourself. Pinterest, Spotify, you need to rerun the ads, getting your, the more eyes you get on your project, the better. Collaborations. It's the same. Listen, if you're in digital real estate class, it's the same for your artists. If you're an artist, you need to, whatever is the vehicle that most people get found via your, your kind of art, you need to get that way. I'm telling people, I'm like, literally, people are like, oh, my cousin or this person is not doing well. I'm like, nah, I have a cousin who literally has an engineering degree and he refuses to work because he's a weirdo. And, and we've been know he's a weirdo, but he also has all this investment property, so he don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he's sitting there with an engineering degree and don't care. So he can jump back in the market anytime he wants to. Cousin does project management in tech, and I think she and I have encouraged me in the past to do tech search. Listen, it's so open right now. I've been on interviews where they're just like, we'll train you shit. And this is a 120,000 year job. <laughs> I mean, I'll bring Tam back on. I think if Tam has time on her schedule, um, or if I hit Colorado, because I was supposed to go through there for some, to watch the leaves, if Tam has time, we'll see if we can get her on the show again. But I know between Diamond Dave doing his live event on October 21st, um, a couple of other events I'm going to in November, maybe Las Vegas meetup. I'm telling y'all, like, brace yourself, get ready. You got to be real careful you're going to Europe. Yeah, there's land over there. Oh, okay, I won't forget the list of generators. I won't. I, I'm not giving it out over here because I am shadow banned on this YouTube. So if you find it, go enjoy. But because I'm shadow banned, we're completely testing uh, the three other channels without sharing it over here to see what we can do to kind of trigger to get into the algorithm. So I'm not going to give it, but it's essentially there is a tactical channel. And I'm just literally talking about all the different ways people can protect themselves, get ready, adjust, all that. But all right, you guys, I got to get to the movie uh, Equalizer, the, third, the number three. Hopefully it's good. You guys, it's your girl, Erica, Classic Con Blog. Have a great night.